All right, so we are going to show how to do the setup on the Holter monitor. So when the battery and the memory card are removed from the device, it may reset the date, the time, and the ID number. So this is the main screen when we're starting. If we use the arrow keys to scroll down, start is how you get to your recording, but first we wanna make sure the ID and setup is correct. So there's ID, colon, and then numbers. Your dog will be assigned an ID number, that way that we can keep the material kind of um, allocated to each dog appropriately in case the microchips get messed up. We're gonna skip that step and go to set up. Hit the green enter button. We're going to go to the time. Make sure the time is correct. If you need to adjust the time, you hit the green enter button. You can set it as a 24 hour clock, military time. Adjust the time as needed. When you have the correct hour, hit the green button. When you have the correct minute, again, hit the green button and that is set. You can repeat the same process for the date. So scroll to date, green button. We're doing American style date, which is month, then day, then year. Same exact process. Adjust the number until you get to the correct date. Scrolling through, that is set. The last thing that'll be important is to go down to the ID. This says enabled, which is what we would like. We want to go to the green, keep it enabled, and then we scroll down, hit green, oh, excuse me. Hit enable hit green, and then we can enter in the numbers here. There are numbers and letters to choose from. The number will be assigned to you. So just make sure it matches the number that's on that registration. We can change the number by scrolling. If you go from zero and you push down, it will go through the alphabet in a backwards order. If you scroll up, it will start zero, one, two, three, etc. When you have the correct number, you hit the green arrow to enter to the next section, next section, next section. It will keep going over. Continue to hit the green button until it goes back to normal. Now we are set up. We can scroll up, our dates, everything is set. Go to the back menu and that takes us to home. Now we have the correct ID for the dog, 3001, which was provided to me by the research. And I will scroll up to start. I will say that my ID is on the label and that will take us back to our ECG recording. That's it.